you don't really need any motivation this time of year, but what's the what's the opportunity in front of you here in the next couple of the, the rest of the weekend? Uh, we did it in Lafayette, so we know we can do it. Um, it's just a matter of going out and then performing. You know, they they beat us one nothing last time, so I don't assume that's going to be the score the next time. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to put up some runs. They're going to put up some runs. It's going to be a dog fight, and you know, I'm just hoping for a real good game. Thanks, JC, what was it like uh, throwing to Ryan tonight, who hadn't you know, played in a really long time? Uh, it's fun, you know, him being my roommate. You know, we have good chemistry, so you know we can kind of talk to each other without really saying things. Um, it's always been fun. I threw to him at Rice the first game of the year, and it was a lot of fun. So I mean, I we probably have the top two catchers personally in the country, and you know, throwing to either of them, I'm fine with. How does Jay's one day at a time kind of mantra help you in a situation where you know you have to win three games to advance, but you can only win one at a time? Yeah, that's kind of what it is. You know, we just focus on this game. You know, when you start getting ahead and you start thinking about, oh, Friday against OK State, who are they going to throw? Um, you kind of lose sight of what you have at hand. And, you know, you might play a little too relaxed. And then, you know, they get a run and you start to press and then you end up hurting yourself.